In this video, I'm going to explain how I'll passively earn nearly $400 in dividend income this December from my $110,000 dividend growth stock portfolio. On top of that, I'll discuss my portfolio's overall progress and bring up a few noteworthy stories from the past month. To analyze my investments, I'll be using my own portfolio tracking and stock research platform available at DividendData.com. Here I can get analytics on all of my stocks, see my projected dividend income, get breaking dividend news curated by my portfolio, calculate stock valuations with various methods, and conduct in-depth stock research. I just pushed out a big update last week, including the launch of automatic brokerage linking. This lets you automatically import your portfolio from any U.S. brokerage. If you want to use all the tools I show here, then become a member at DividendData.com. Your support is appreciated. With that said, I'm going to start this month's portfolio update. But first, let's roll the intro. My name is Zach and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. Every month since May 2020, I've been sharing a video update discussing the progress of my long-term dividend growth stock portfolio. It's allowed me to reflect on my investing strategies and put my ideas to the test. This, along with the research for all my other videos, has been a massive learning experience. The goal of this account is to build a reliable, growing stream of dividend income. This will be accomplished by investing in companies who regularly increase their dividend payments and by reinvesting all my earned dividends. This creates a compounding source of passive income. At the same time, I want to maximize the total return as I build my account. The goal is to reach financial freedom. That is where I could have the ability to live purely off my dividend income. 2022 has been a rough year for stock market investors. The market crashed with the S&P 500 down nearly 25% at one point. I used this as an opportunity to buy quality stocks at cheaper prices and rebalance my portfolio to focus on those discounted companies. For example, I've now built up a large $24,000 position in Microsoft, which I view as an extremely high quality long-term holding. I discussed this and other buys in my prior portfolio updates. In the month of November, I haven't bought any new stocks other than reinvesting dividends. This is mainly because the market and S&P 500 is up nearly 9% in the past month, so prices are higher relative to my recent buys. Additionally, I bought so much in September and October that I'm giving myself a chance to replenish some cash for future opportunities, so no new buys to report other than reinvesting dividends. If we look at my portfolio right now, the total value is $110,523, with $91,800 12 initial dollars invested, giving me a total return of 20.38%. Despite all the 2022 market drama, we're still marching forward. Microsoft is my top position, which is now up 4.62%. I'm hoping the stock falls again so I can pick up shares at a great price. There are some Microsoft-specific news events which could cause volatility in their stock price. For example, their acquisition of Activision Blizzard. It's now being reported that the FTC in the US is likely to block the deal. This is adding to existing worry from European regulators. Personally, I find the case against to be weak, but I will be buying more Microsoft stock either way. I recently commented on this Microsoft news in our community Discord server. I said, quote, Gaming is a very small part of Microsoft's business, even with the acquisition. However, it would hurt their ability to strategically grow that business. Owning intellectual property and content will be very important important for the future of gaming. Also, additional regulatory oversight could be generally bad for the business as a whole, same with all of big tech. Purely from the shareholder perspective, you could argue Microsoft would be better off without the deal. They get to keep the cash and focus on their faster growing and higher margin business segments. I like the deal though. Think it will likely be approved. Find the argument against to be weak. I will definitely be buying the dip if the stock falls on speculation or the deal actually being blocked. You can gain access to our Discord for convos like this if you're a member of DividendData.com. So Microsoft is my top holding, followed by ExxonMobil, which is now a 204.97% total return. Next, I have Disney. 
Disney, which is my worst performing investment, I'm down over 33%. There was just a big piece of news with Bob Iger returning to be their CEO. I think this is great news as Iger is a generational CEO and responsible for all of their massive acquisitions in recent decades. Also, he stated that he will focus on the profitability of their streaming business, which was already the plan moving forward, but is great to have focus on. Look forward to watching this play out. In my long-term dividend growth stock portfolio, I currently own 17 stocks. If you want to see an analysis of my top 10 dividend stocks, I covered that in my last month's update. That video is linked here. For the overall portfolio, my projected annual dividend income is $3,070. My dividend yield on cost is 3.12%. From reinvesting dividends, this has given me a compound yield on cost of 3.34%. This makes the snowball effect, which is the measurement of reinvesting dividends, be 0.23%. I can also view my projected annual income, yield on cost, and impact of dividend reinvestment for each individual stock in my portfolio. If we go to the income page, you can see my projected dividend income over the span of a year. My portfolio generates roughly $3,070 every year, $767 every quarter, $255 every month, $8.41 every day, and $0.35 cents every hour. My income is currently very uneven, with a three-month cycle of one big month, one average, and one small month. This December is poised to be a huge month for dividends. Today, I earned $111.78 in dividends. This was $83.38 from Intel, $21.63 from Kroger, and $6.77 from Visa. I've got some other huge dividends coming soon. On December 8th, I'll be getting $64.15 from Microsoft. On the 9th, I'll be getting $141.41 from ExxonMobil. All of these dividend payments will be reinvested to acquire more shares and increase my future dividend income. This is what us dividend investors like to call the snowball effect. Here you can see my real dividend income history. Since the inception of my portfolio, I have earned $7,224 in dividends. Year to date, I've earned $3,008. I'll be finishing the year strong and already have $111.78 cents for December as of December 1st. I will continue to track my dividend income and look forward to see how it grows over time. Before we close, I want to discuss my buying strategy over the coming months. As I've mentioned earlier, I've been building up my cash position and plan to continue buying soon. I want to prioritize quality with my buys. This is a focus on cash-rich, growing businesses with disciplined costs, strong fundamentals, growing dividends, and share buybacks. Right now, Microsoft is one of the companies I've identified to fit this criteria, hence why I've been buying so much of it in recent months. Earlier this week, Fed Chair Powell said that they may start smaller interest rate hikes starting in December. Additionally, he emphasized that they do not want to over-tighten. The market took this as a positive sign and soared overall on the news. Microsoft, for example, went up over 6% on that day. Personally, I'm remaining cautious, but will definitely be buying the dip on quality companies I think that are on sale. With Microsoft, I will likely start buying again in the 230s, given that it was just at that level in November. However, all of this is just my opinion, so be sure to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Thank you for watching Dividend Data. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos coming soon. You can sign up for DividendData.com to track your portfolio, just like me, and join a Discord community of like-minded investors. Follow me on Twitter for real-time dividend news, and thank you for watching.